Hey, Chrissy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a few tags using some new supplies from a Catherine Fuller release. So you can see I have a stamp set here with some coordinating dies. Now first I die cut some tags just from another die cut that I had on hand. And this is a super cute set. It's called Holiday Mittens. And you can see there's a couple different mittens on there. There's three pair. Now the die, uh, there's one that coordinates with the mittens that are attached. And then the two that are separate, along with the snowflakes and the Christmas tree. There's all kinds of goodies in that coordinating set. So you can see I am inking up the mittens here. And I'm using two different inks. And I'm using Catherine Pooler inks. So I just kind of went in with the blue first and then I came back in with the green and I just kind of want to create like a blended ombre type effect. And I'm using grass skirt and fiesta blue. These inks are awesome by the way. Um, this the, That particular stamp was the first time I ever used it. So you can see um, on the other set I did use the black already and it kind of stained and that's fine. I have no problem with that. But that was the first time I ever inked up that particular stamp, those mittens, and they inked perfectly. So I'm just going ahead and I am sticking on the coordinating dies using a little bit of washi tape. I like to hold my dies in place while they go through my die cutting machine. And they are all die cut. I love coordinating dies. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put them on the tag. First, you can see I kind of like lay out my tags. Um, I do this with my cards too. Sometimes I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do things. I'm kind of like a stamp and go type of girl like hey let's stamp this stuff and then figure out where to lay it on later so that's what I did here so I just added a few little snowflakes and then I'm just cleaning off my stamp right away these are dye inks so they stamp very cleanly however they can stain your stamps just kind of depending on how dark the color is I did mention the black stained um, I have not had any problems with the blue and the green or the orange the red does leave a little bit of a a mark behind it but it's nothing too bad but I would just recommend cleaning them off right away so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna adhere these using some foam and that is one tag now for the other one you can see here I'm going to go ahead and grab this little Christmas tree this one's a little bit more of a simple tag I'm using the grass skirt the green again and I just want to mention that um, the ink that I'm using along with this cute little acrylic block. I like the circle one, it's different. That comes in the foundations box, which is available in Catherine Pooler's store along with all of the stamps and dies that I'm using today. So um, the foundations box is not only great for beginning stampers, but it's great for seasoned stampers because you get a bunch of inks in it along with paper and a few different stamp sets as well as it makes a great gift. So if you know someone um, that is semi crafty but maybe they haven't gotten into stamping yet or they've mentioned like hey I'd like a new hobby or something get them the foundations box uh, for Christmas or birthday or whatever and if you caught the bracelet that I'm wearing um, those are available in the store too. Those are actually handmade out of paper and there's full details on Catherine's website. Um, it's a great cause where um, they come from so please make sure that you check that out. So you saw the last tag I made um, as I was blabbering on. It was pretty simple. I just stamped it and then added some sequins. And then this is the final tag that I'm going to make. And I'm also going to show you just a quick peek at some other projects that I made um, using just the few stamp sets that came out in this release. So what I did for this one is I wanted to use two different colors for the different lines of text. So I just masked one off with a post-it note and then gently came in with the other and just kind of tapped it on. And I decided to use craft for this too because I'm really kind of into like the, the rustic type style for Christmas this year. Um, all of my packages wrapped up are kind of like plaid and that's what our tree skirt and everything is. So I'm using a lot of craft and reds and stuff like that this year so everything can coordinate together. So I just um, went and I added a little bit of color to the top using the same inks and you can see how great. It came out. So here's a few more sneak peeks. Um, like I said, everything is available um, in Catherine Pooler's store. So you can see the tags. Um, I made a card and I also made um, a couple pages for my December daily this year. So make sure to check it out. There's all kinds of things in there as well as great gifts you can buy for any crafters or hobbyists in your family or friends. Thanks for stopping by today and make sure to check out CatherinePooler.com.